Brothers and sisters in Christ, the Lord Jesus said to his disciples, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. In obedience to the Lord's command, you have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You've been taught the precious truths of the Christian faith as confessed by the Evangelical Lutheran Church. You know what God has given you by His grace. What He expects of you is His dear child. You are here to make a public confession of your Christian faith. The Apostle Paul, writing to the Romans, said, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Therefore, lift up your hearts to the God of all grace and joyfully answer these questions. Do you this day in the presence of God and of this congregation acknowledge that in baptism, God gave you forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation? I do. Do you reject the devil along with all his lies and empty promises? Do you believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit? I do. Do you believe all the books of the Bible to be the inspired word of God? I do. Do you believe that the teaching of the Evangelical Lutheran Church, as you have learned from Luther's small catechism, is faithful and true to the word of God? I do. Do you intend to continue steadfast in this teaching and to endure all things, even death, rather than fall away from it? I do, and I ask God to help me. Do you intend faithfully to conform all your life to the teachings of God's word, to be faithful in the use of word and sacrament, and in faith and action remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as long as you live? I do, and I ask God to help me. As we ask you gathered here today to publicly confess a unity with the members of peace, I invite you now to show that unity by confessing what we believe about our God in the same way Christians have for almost 2,000 years by reciting together with all of the congregation the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Since it is God alone who enables us both to will and to do his good pleasure, it is right for us, dear friends in Christ, to call on him for these confirmands that he would graciously complete the good work which he has begun in them. Let us therefore bow our heads and pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for your great goodness in bringing these sons and daughters of yours to the knowledge of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in giving them both hearts to believe and mouths to confess his saving name. Enable them to bring forth the fruits of faith and to continue steadfast and victorious until the day comes when all who have fought the good fight of faith shall receive the crown of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now let's go to God together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters in Christ, what we as a congregation have here asked our Heavenly Father to confer on all of you, we now ask him to give each of you individually. Jason, God has given you the gift of 
new relationships and a new future. But your confirmation verse you chose today may be a reminder of the greatest gift you have been given, not because you deserved it, but because your God loves you oh so much. From Ephesians 2, verse 8. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Congratulations. Thank you. Brad, you walk many different paths, and some of them are dangerous, and the paths that you lead your family are also important. You remember the light that guides you down the mall, the light that shows you both who you are in Christ and who your family has been made to be as well. From 1 John 1, verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Congratulations. And Sam, many challenges can come our way all the time, and you know that to be true. But you know where your power comes from. The power that's going to be with you no matter what your life looks like or no matter what the world looks like around you. You remember what truly makes you strong. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 9. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Hunter, got a lot of future ahead of you. Remember who's always going to be there for you. Remember the shepherd that you have and what he'll always provide. From Psalm 23. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. The rod and your staff, they come for me. Aiden. So many people to meet, so much of the world to see, but however people are that you meet, remember that God always remains the same. And how he feels about you, how he treats you, and what he gives you remains the same. So remember your verse from Psalm 118. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. My friends, your church now invites you to receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood. Accept this invitation with deep reverence and holy joy. Regard your communing at the Lord's table as a precious privilege given you by God through his church. Receive this sacrament thankfully and often. And all the almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless and keep you. God be with you.